Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will talk about the amazing features of the Astra theme. One of the best themes for WordPress. There's a free version that has a lot of capabilities, but there are also premium upgrades and in this video series I will cover every topic. If you want to get one of the premium packages of the Astra theme, you can go to ferdycorp.com forward slash Astra. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy this through my link I get a commission, so thank you for that. Then you can choose a package and click on get started. You can pay with credit card or PayPal. Then you can download all the premium plugins, upload them to your website, activate them, and then through these tutorials I will show you step by step how all the premium plugins work. If you like what you're seeing so far, please like this video. And if you want to see more upcoming videos, please consider to subscribe and click on the bell notification so you'll get an update when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. In this video, we will take a look at the transparent header. At this moment, the header, this area over here, is not transparent and we will make it transparent. In order to do that, go to the back end in the new tab. I drag it to the left. I go to Appearance, Astra Options. And if I go to the website to Customize, and I go to Layout, Header, you see those four options. And when I activate the transparent header, like this and I refresh the page and I go to layout header now we see transparent header I click on it and what I can do I can enable it on a complete website so on all the pages in the website there will be a transparent header I check it and now we see how it will look and I don't like it of course but for now I will use it on the whole website and then later on I will show you how you can apply it to certain pages Force disable on special pages like archives, the search results, yes. And I want to have a different logo because I have a blue background and a blue logo so that doesn't fit. So I click on different logo for transparent header and I select a new image and I have the same logo in white with a transparent background. It looks better like that. But the menu is still in dark letters. So how can I fix that? I will show you in a minute. You also can upload a logo for Retina, but this one is applied for normal screens and Retina screens. Here we can change the logo width, but I want it to be the same as the original logo, so I leave it as it is. We can have a border button, and I want that. And I want the color to be white, like this. So this is how it looks, and what you see is that it looks a little bit weird. So what I want to do, I click on Publish. I close it. And I want to use it on the home page, so I edit this page with Elementor. I use Elementor as a page builder for all my websites, and Elementor and Astra are a great combination. So over here, I click on the section, I go to Advanced, and the padding of the top, I want to change that. So I uncheck this, and here I can create some more space. How about 80? Update. Then we can take a look and it looks like this. I think it's still really close, but as I just show you, you can give more space. Or you know what, 120. Update, we check the results. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now let's take a look at the colors. So I click on customize, I close this. So we go to colors and background, header, transparent header. And we can have an overlay color, for instance, black, but then transparent like that. I actually like that, so I leave it. And it can be handy when you have a really light background and you have also white text, then because of the darker background, you still can see the text, so that's great. Then we have the menu, this area over here, we can give it the background. We can change the link text color to white, but if someone hovers over it, it still looks great. So I leave it as it is. Then we have the sub menu. So over here, but I think this looks great. So I leave it as this. What I see is this icon over here is still blue and it is a link. So if we go to the content section, if you have a text over here, you can make it white, but also when you have a link color, you can make it white. When you hover over it, you can make it a little bit grayish like that. So I think this looks beautiful, 
but we show this in the whole website. So if I go to the about page, you also see it. And over here, maybe that's okay. But if you go to the blog page, it just looks weird. So what will I do? I click on customize. I go to layout, header, transparent header, and I disable it on the complete website. I also disable this. I publish it and I close it. So now you see the normal header. And if I go to the home page, I also see the normal header. And if I want to change that to the transparent one, I click on edit the page and I can change it to every individual page. Over here you see transparent header. I say enable. Update. View the page. And now it looks like this. I think this is amazing. I love this. It, it makes the website so much more beautiful. And if I go to a different page, Portfolio, it looks like this. And if I want to change it at the About page, I go to the About page, I click on Edit Page, I scroll down and I say Enable. And the great thing is that this works perfectly in combination with Elementor, which is one of my favorite page builders. So I think this is great. So that is what you can do using the transparent header. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Feel free to like this video and to subscribe for more upcoming videos. And I hope you have a great day and you will see me next time. Bye bye.